I guess if you're still here, I should probably film this ad or whatever for these headphones that I'm selling on Amazon. Come in nice little red color right here and right here on the outside. They're like super black, super stretchy. They, they're big enough to fit over your ear, which is very nice, very comfy. They have a single inline connection. Yeah, you can see it right there. And these things, are, it's good enough. They, it can fit directly into your, your PSVR headset right here. Where, where, is, where is that connection? Right there. And look, look how well it fits. Comfy, isn't it? It looks so nice. Fits so well. And obviously, since it's big enough that it can actually fit over your headset, it'll li likely work pretty well with a lot of your other virtual reality headsets that you may have, whether it's the Rift S, the Oculus Quest, or maybe the Valve Index, depending on which one you have. Personally, I recommend it. I've tried it over the last couple days. Just got them in on, on the first. Yeah, the, the first of July. Or the 30th of June. I can't even remember when. But been trying them out the last few days and they seem to work pretty well. I tried them out on on the PlayStation 4's voice control. They seem to work pretty well. And I even played a game of Beat Saber on it. The sound quality, eh. It seemed to have a little bit more bass than I'm used to. But on all in all, it seemed to have a, a good audio quality on it. Which is something I look for in a good pair of headphones. Selling these on Amazon now for just $30. Uh, right now, I only have the link up for the red ones. I do have them in blue also. Uh, I'll try to set up that link soon. But in the meantime, I only have the link up for the red ones. Oh, I almost forgot. In the event that it, in the event that these hard to remove cups come off your your headphones like this, you you can see that it got removed probably. Super twisty. Anyway, in the event that it got removed like that, all you need to do is uh, flip the cup over this. Where is it? There, there's this little hook right here. You might be able to see it. But there, there's a hook right here. You, Yeah, you might be able to see that in the lighting. But yeah, there's, there's a hook right here near the, near the mic connection. Just slide that little baby right over that hook. Keep your finger on the hook. And then slide the cup around the loop. And then... Do that for a good, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. And then you'll be able to get the cup of the headphone on. Man, got to restart. Do that for a good 30 seconds and you should be able to get the cup back on the headphones. Eventually. Bit of a hassle at times. This is only the third time I've done it. First time I ended up trying it out, happened by accident. But I found out this neat little trick. So yeah, finger on it. The other one seems to get in the way quite a bit when you're trying to do it. I promise it's the last part of the video, so if you want to click away, be my guest. All I'm really doing is showing you how to 
reconnect it back on in the slim event it comes off. Okay, finally, took quite a bit of tries, but it's finally back on. You, you can, you might be able to see I'm tugging on it, but yeah, that that's the, the ad. If you're still looking into something like this, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, where is it? It's got a neat little volume connection to, with, with a mute button. Not sure if you can see that, but it's got a mute button in there and a volume adjuster so you can end up adjusting your voice or inline sound i'm not really sure which one it does so far i've only seen that seen the incoming sound get adjusted through that but you might be able to adjust the outgoing sound as well because it's an all-in-one connection so that's about it for this ad um i guess later